Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. September is National Preparedness Month, the goal of which is to raise awareness about the importance of prepping for emergencies and disasters. This means it's a great time to stock up on cat supplies like dry food, canned food, kitty litter, and even water as we head into the fall and winter seasons. I was just in a store the other day where a woman was buying several bottles of water for her dogs because her neighborhood still didn't have any water after the recent flooding here from the remnants of Hurricane Ida. Some towns were hit way worse than others, and you never know when you will be the one affected from something like that, so it's good to be prepared. I've also gotten quite a few messages and emails recently asking me about cat food recommendations. So I thought I would make this video to go over the most affordable, healthy canned cat food that is available in a variety of different stores in case you'd like to stock up. Obviously, the stores near you may vary. Also, your cat might have a favorite food or you might have a more limited budget. The cat food featured in this video averages about a dollar a can for a 5.5 ounce can. There's nothing wrong with feeding your cat the standard supermarket brands of cat food if that is what fits your budget. The most important thing is that you're taking care of cats and feeding them. However, if you want to level up to a food with healthier ingredients, as many people do based on the emails that I get, this is why I'm making this video. You can feed your cat healthier food without breaking the bank. So let's go shopping and let's see what's available. So the first store that I went to was Whole Foods and Whole Foods has deckhand premium cat food for only 89 cents a can. Now, deckhand cat food is tuna-based cat food. It's basically tuna for cats, and they have three different varieties of it. They have uh, plain tuna, tuna with shrimp, and tuna with salmon. The cans that are tuna with shrimp and tuna with salmon are predominantly tuna. There's very little shrimp or salmon in them, um, but for cats that do like tuna, this is a really good food. It's actually uh, very similar to the tuna for cats that Trader Joe's used to sell. And it's only 89 cents a can, so it's a really good deal also. So I feed my cats canned fish uh, once a week, like one day a week they get canned fish because it's really important for them to get omega-3s in their diet. Omega-3s are really good for heart health. Um, and I know a lot of people are worried about mercury content in tuna, and I've done a lot of research in that. I'm going to post uh, links to several articles in the description below this video, because if there's also selenium in the fish, and most uh, saltwater fish uh, has a very high amount of selenium in it, the selenium levels offset any possible mercury toxicity. And again, I'm going to post the link to articles uh, in the description below this video if you'd like to check them out. So while I do think it's important for cats to get a varied diet with, you know, different kinds of protein in their diet, I don't think it's harmful to feed them tuna uh, several times a week or any kind of fish several times a week. I think the benefits far outweigh any kind of mercury risks. So this is the food that I would purchase from Whole Foods. It's the deckhands tuna for cats and it's 89 cents a can and these are 5.5 ounce cans these are not the smaller three ounce cans so from there i went to target and this is the most affordable healthy food at target and this is the blue buffalo tastefuls and these were a dollar 29 a can and these come in a variety of different flavors and for all of the food that was being sold at target these were the most affordable of the healthier options and Target was actually the most expensive out of all of the stores that I went to at $1.29 a can. That's actually the most expensive.
expensive, but that is what is available at Target. Then I went to PetSmart, and this is the most affordable, healthier food that they sell. This is the wellness canned cat food, and they sell probably six or seven different uh, varieties of their pate. Um, the cats really like turkey, um, and then I think there's chicken and herring. They love that one, and I think there's a turkey and salmon. Um, I know I know them by color, basically green, blue, and purple. Those are the ones that the cats like. So this is a 12.5 ounce can. And the cost on this at PetSmart is $3.39. And if you do the math on that, it comes out to about 27 cents an ounce. So for a 5.5 ounce can on that, it's $1.49. And that was still the cheapest food that they had at PetSmart. I walked up and down all the aisles. The one thing about PetSmart is that they do uh, offer coupons. I know when I buy food there, I'll get a coupon on my cash register receipt. They also have a PetSmart rewards program where you get cash back for money that you spend. And sometimes they'll also email you a coupon. So for example, so a few days after I took this photo at PetSmart, I got an email for 20% off any cat food. So I went right back there and I purchased three cases of this cat food because at 20% off, it brings each can down to $2.71, which brings it down to 22 cents an ounce and 5.5 ounces is $1.20. So that's a decent price for a can of healthy cat food. And Ditto was really enjoying this food. And the inside cats tried it and they enjoyed it also. And what I like about it is that it is the larger cans. So uh, I feel like there's less waste because I'm not opening three cans per meal. I'm opening fewer larger cans. So that is PetSmart. Then I went to Trader Joe's, and Trader Joe's has their own brand of cat food. They have a turkey and giblets dinner and a ocean fish, salmon, and rice dinner, and the cats enjoy these foods. And these are 89 cents a can. I believe neither of these are completely grain-free. Obviously, the one in the bottom does have rice, and the turkey and giblets also has some rice flour as an ingredient. So if you're keeping your cats 100% grain-free, uh, you'd probably want to avoid this food. But for 89 cents a can, I think it's a good affordable option. It's definitely a step up from the typical supermarket brands. And they sell these in cases of 24. Next, I went to Petco and Petco has their house brand of whole hearted pet food. And I've bought these whole hearted canned cat foods before and the cats enjoy them. They enjoy some varieties better than other. Uh, the same goes for Ditto. He likes some flavors better than others, but you know, with cats, one day they really like chicken pate and then the next time you feed it to them, they might not like it anymore. So there are a lot of different flavors offered in this wholehearted cat food. They also offer different textures, which is nice. So they have a pate, they have minced, uh, they have morsels, and I think they have one other type. I usually buy the pate for the cats because I feel like I get the best value for my money. And it is a really dense pate, so I always mix in some extra water to soften it up a little bit. So the shelf price on these is $1.09 a can. And if you buy 12 or more, it goes down to $1.05 a can, which is a really great deal for this cat food. And normally when you go to Petco, if you look toward the back of the shelves, they will have cases that are still sealed in plastic. So if you want to buy like 12 of one variety, you can just grab a whole case and uh, it's just a lot easier that way than buying the individual cans. I wish all the Petcos would do that, but for some reason they like to unwrap uh, a lot of the cat food. I guess they don't think people are buying in bulk and they don't realize that some people are buying for a lot of cats. So this is the most affordable choice at Petco. 
I also noted the price of their wellness canned cat food. Uh, this is the same food that we just looked at at PetSmart. Uh, the shelf price at Petco is $3.49, which is a dime more than PetSmart. However, their Pals Reward program has an everyday low price of $3.19, which is actually 20 cents cheaper uh, per can than PetSmart. So if I didn't have a coupon at PetSmart and I wanted to purchase this food, I would go to Petco because it is a little bit cheaper. So from Petco, I went to Stop and Shop, which is a local chain of supermarkets, and they have their house brand, which is Nature's Promise. And I believe I did a video about this food quite some time ago. Uh, since then, they've changed the labeling. Um, they've changed the artwork on the labeling, but the food itself is the same. And this is super premium food for cats. If you read the ingredients, the ingredients are the same ingredients in some of the higher end cat food that sells for two or three times this price. So these are 89 cents a can, which is a great deal. And the cats have enjoyed this food in the past. So if you have a stop and shop near you, you might want to check out this cat food. The one other store that I did not get to go to because it's too far for a quick trip is Tractor Supply, and they sell a brand of pet food called For Health. And uh, the cats have had this For Health grain-free wet cat food in the past, and they've enjoyed it. And the ingredients on it are good. Um, it varies by variety, so always check out the ingredients on each individual flavor before you buy the cat food in case there's something in there that you don't want your pet to have or that they're allergic to or something like that. But these cans are 89 cents a can also, which is a good deal. And again, and the ingredients in here are a step above the typical supermarket varieties of cat food. And when I say that, the one big difference is that there are no unnamed meat byproducts in any of these foods that I'm showing you. Uh, there's no corn, there's no wheat, there's no soy, and there are no dairy products. So there's no cheese and no milk. So um, those are the big five things that I look for uh, that I don't want in the cat food that I buy. Uh, but this is another affordable option and this is at Tractor Supply. And so that is my survey of the affordable, healthy cat food being sold in stores around here. Um, I did go to Walmart. Walmart around here was an absolute disaster. Um, the shelves were like wiped out. I don't know if it was because I was there at night or if, you know, they're already dealing with supply issues, but I looked at their shelves and I didn't see anything that I would really uh, recommend. I think they had Blue Buffalo Tastefuls, but the price wasn't better than Target or anywhere else. So, so to me, it wasn't a bargain. And any of the other stores around here are just local stores. And I wanted to go over more of what's being sold in the chain stores um, because people watch these videos from all over the United United States and really from all over the world. There's so many people from so many different countries that watch these videos and I just wanted to provide uh, helpful information. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, once again, September is National Preparedness Month. So if you can take some time to stock up on wet cat food, dry cat food, kitty litter, some bottled water, and anything that you think your cats would need if the stores were closed, if there were supply chain issues, or if you weren't able to uh, go shopping for a while. So uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.